Welcome to Doctrine and Devotion, a podcast that explores Christian faith and practice from a Reformed Baptist perspective. My name is Joe Thorne. I'm the lead pastor of Redeemer Fellowship from St. Charles, Illinois. And I'm Jim Fowler, executive pastor at Redeemer Fellowship. I'm Krista McDonald, part-time podcast gal. Yeah, mm, there yeah. you go. She's back. Thanks for uh, inviting me, guys. Yeah, well, you know, we wanted to have a one final send-off before you replaced. I really appreciate it. You know, and just, very uh, kind of you. We'll miss you. Yeah. I, what? No, Wait, what? I'm Imagine kidding. Imagine Krista just jumped on, too. I'm totally mm-hmm. kidding. No, I just got done saying I'm so glad you're here. You did. I yeah. did. I heard her. Yeah, the implication was it's really rough when you're not here and it's just me and her. That was the implication. No, Jimmy, was that the implication? That's, that's the way how, I That's took how it. it sounded. That's how yeah. I took it, and She's I like, think that's how you meant it. It's okay. Yeah, no, it's right. I it's, think it's you guys okay. are a little sensitive. Uh, I think you are a manipulative counselor uh, who oh. knows how to communicate, and you're just trying to oh. make us crazy. Blink twice if you want him to leave. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's You guys fine. are so silly. Yeah. Well, right. we uh, we missed you in Texas. We were in Texas doing a little uh, little micro conference. Yeah. Little conference it was fantastic. Just in Burleson, Texas. It was yeah. a good time, but it was definitely missing some Krista because Krista is the sort of the the magic sauce, right? That uh, the secret sauce. I get that confused. The secret sauce that makes our conferences work really yeah, well. Yeah, how is it a magic sauce? No, it's 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 the it's the secret sauce. Like it's here today, gone tomorrow. No, magic. no, no. But magic there's sauce. A, a secret sauce, but then what's the other thing that's a magic something? I don't know. There's there's all kinds there's, of expressions um, out there that I don't know. I only know magic half of formula? It. Magic formula maybe? I don't, I don't know. I, I Ancient really Chinese don't. secret? Mm-hmm. I, is that it? That's an old commercial. You remember I that. remember it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I do not remember it. It would not air today. You could not air it today cuz no. uh yeah, it would be seen as... It would as, be inappropriate. Yeah, it, mm. it, well, it would be seen as inappropriate. Yes, it would. Sure. I would think it would be, it was still funny. Yeah. But, I'm, uh, I'm, it was not good. Send me the link. So, well, Krista says it was not good, so oh. we know what side she's on. Well, hmm. for... Well, okay. Okay, no, fine. we're not going... No, we're not right. talking about that today. <laughs> so actually, we brought you here to talk to you about um, your wokeness. So, My wokeness? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're well, very concerned. I'm so woke. I, I just need, yeah, I just need you to correct Joe. Just you know, mm. with your wokeness yeah. and his severe, Bro- I'm, I am broke. I'm, you got I'm, wokeness I'm, and broke. broke. Yeah, that's basically. I, I need you to help, Joe. Okay, I am not. I would not consider myself woke. Wow, so you hate minorities? <laughs> that okay, is not that's a, the only option. Those are the options. Those are the options. Joe, Those you are, are the options. very manipulative. <laughs> okay, yes, I am today. Mm-hmm. Today, Wonder today, what? always, whatever. I don't Today's, know. Yeah, I'm about well, to say. Know, lead pastor kind of comes to the territory. He's supposed to oh, manipulate that's, people. Oh, is that it? <laughs> is that yeah? Oh, is okay. that how a church is built? That's how I. What's that I've observed? Okay, uh, well, don't little, do what you've observed. Okay. Yeah, don't do that thing. <laughs> Actually, I don't. I'm not doing a very good job because I don't. I don't think this last year has reflected church. Quote, growth, growth. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> For the opposite. <laughs> yeah, yep. So yeah, maybe you need to start being manipulated. Yeah, I oh, see. I think, mm-hmm. Oh boy, okay. church growth strategy. Hey, you know, do you know Jimmy and I are going to go speak at a? Are you in? I don't know yet. Okay. Well, yeah. Jimmy, well, I'm going to go speak. That they initially asked for Jimmy and I to go and speak at this event. It's in the greater northern Illinois area. Okay. Leave it at that. But uh, it was a harvest church. And then at some point it you know, separated mm-hmm. out. Now it's its own thing. And uh, it seems to be like in a, a healthy, like reformed leaning kind of a church, if not outright, you know, fully reformed. And uh, they want us to come and to uh, preach at a, it's, it's primarily a young adult sort of conference mm-hmm. and uh yeah man we're, I'm a, we're really excited about it jimmy's not sure if he can do it yet mm-hmm. that's cool so uh yeah this is gonna be fun mm-hmm. that's yeah. very cool I'm, ex- I'm really hoping to make it work yeah it'll be good it'll maybe be good. i can go if you can't go why not i'm totally kidding <laughs> see she's woke <laughs> yeah go well hold on I, you're I'm the totally one that said kidding. that women could go ahead and preach first of all you said fire the white pastor yeah okay what? wait whoa. Oh, what? You, wow you, you know about that what? look early hold days on. How, how is this classic mm-hmm. how is this classic Manipulation, mm-hmm. where you're, the spotlight's on him, and he right away deflects. It is off topic. You're deflecting right now. That's what oh, it is. No, it's not. It's yeah. deflecting. Is this not it? But is he, is he deflecting it. off of what I just said to him? He's asking a question. Oh, I was asking a question. Whoa! About your deflecting. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm asking a question about his deflecting. I'm, I'm asking That's her. That's a deflection. First there we of all, go. rubber glue. <laughs> That's all I need to say. That's all I need Amazing. to say. Amazing. Hey, first of all, I'm, I have someone that is qualified, mm-hmm. certified. Yeah. To assess you. Yeah, everything in a I've... secular world. <laughs> you know, she's not like a biblical counselor. You don't so. want me to say what some of those other people would say about you. No, I, oh. I, 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 might, I might like it. I might like <laughs> it. Like, yeah. yeah, you're right. You, you know what? You probably Joe, would Joe like Joe feeds it. off that. He would like it. Can we just you're take... Right. Hang on, I'm sorry. 
sometimes I get a little worked up with the cancer. So I got. Oh my god! You guys are like, I, I know it's it's are funny you, and all, but uh, oh my gosh, I gotta take a breather here. You, you doing okay, Joey? Yeah, I'm. I'm okay. I just, right? get a, just get a break. Just don't, just don't, don't go too hard on me. Like, oh, it's, it's, all not, right. it's not cool. Deflecting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Joe, what are we gonna talk about today? Uh, spanking butts. That's what we're gonna talk about. Spanking. I don't, th- butts. I don't think we're gonna call it that. No, because I that, think well, you just you did. Might get some clicks. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you, yeah, you know, what kind of graphics no, is going to well, go you know with what, that? I, if we call it spanking butts, I bet a lot of those people in Moscow, Idaho would listen to it because they would think it's about disciplining their wives. I'm leaving if that's what we're talking we're about. We're not talking that's about that, but they about. would tune in for that. <laughs> well, anyway. I don't know much. Yeah. I don't follow. You don't know much? You know a little? Just a little. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't follow them. No, we want to talk about uh, a, a, a deeply theological issue, the issue of uh, corporal punishment. Spanking your kids? Mm-hmm. Is it a biblical thing? Should everyone do it? Do you have to do it? Is it wrong if you don't do it? How are you supposed to do it? Mm. Does it really matter? That kind of stuff. Let's talk about discipline. All right. Spanking. Yeah. All right. And it came up because I think you brought it up. Christa. I did. We were talking at church one time and she's like, remember what it's like when you take your shoe off and you start hitting your kid because he's not listening? And I'm like, no, I don't. And so she's like, let's talk about it. <laughs> Jimmy. Yep. He also makes stuff up. Yeah. Uh, in addition to deflecting. Okay. To be honest. I, I never I, said any of that. Oh, you never said any of that? None. Mm. I actually believed you. Yeah. I, for a moment, I, I was like... Well, you, we all know her son. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. I was thinking maybe like... My poor abuse. <laughs> no, no. I was thinking like you as a kid or like your sibling, like you watched your brother get, mm. you know, spanked. Oh, I definitely got spanked as a kid. See that? No so doubt. that's why I thought like you were talking about that, not that she was going to go do that. No. I didn't say that. They didn't spank Jimmy either. They just shipped him off to military school. That was the four-year spanking. That is a major spank. (laughs) Well, and then there was physical because the upper class would take the flat end. Yeah. Mm. And then they'd whip you with that. Yeah. Which school did you go to? Marmion. Oh, that's right. I knew that. So, um, all right. So this comes up, especially if, if you're having kids. And, you know, we have a church with lots of families, lots of kids of all ages. And, uh, and. People are having kids, so mm-hmm. they inevitably start like thinking through this issue. Man, we were talking about today at DG. I, I completely forgot that we were talking oh, about wow. this. Oh, really? And it came up as disciplining our kids. Yeah, how to do it? Like, oh, how did it go? Or how? Did, what? Sorry. No, no. Like, how? How you start talking about like how do you discipline how, your kids? What you, works? Yeah, what works? How do you deal with a kid that's uh, in this instance? I think specifically like uh, disrespecting their mother, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Oh, I remember what my dad did when that happened. (laughs) And it did not involve spanking. No. Not not that time, no. Revolver to the head? No. What? I don't know where the story is. What? (laughs) I'm asking clarifying questions. Yeah, right. (laughs) I'm not not judging. So you you experienced corporal punishment as a kid, Krista? Yeah. And Jimmy? Spanking? Yeah. 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 And uh, I didn't. I got got spanked one time uh, from my mom. And... uh, and I got hit by my dad one time, backhand to the face because I threw the f word at him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I he, would do it. So he threw it right back. <laughs> I didn't even see it coming. He I just saw it and threw it. Back. It was like a white flash, <laughs> whap, and I was like, mm-hmm. "What did you think was going to happen? Yeah. You throw the f word at your dad." Yeah, <laughs> and I never did that again. Yeah, it's the only time my dad ever ever laid a hand on me. And uh, so yeah, I didn't get a lot of it, but I didn't also have a lot of rules, so it wasn't really that much of an issue. I had the wooden spoon too. They give you the spoon. Oh yeah. Yeah. We might have, my mom might have broken a spoon on one of them. Yeah, the no, I've, I've heard, I've heard yeah. that happens. Yeah. I think in Jen's family that's happened. Yeah. 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 <laughs> then if you're the mom, how bad do you feel if you break the spoon? Is it, a, do you, is it like a felt, victory or is it I like, don't know. It's like, yeah, bro, it's like breaking the bat, like in baseball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. No. Well, After had, a while, we, it just became the threat. Do I need to get the spoon? You oh, know, yeah, you'd yeah, hear yeah, that, yeah, but. Tease it out. We did door trim. My dad had a piece of door Ooh, trim. Ooh, that yeah. doesn't sound like it would feel good at all. It that's the not. that's the that's the uh, 20th century switch. Yeah. Or late that's 20th what century I was switch, thinking, right? too. Instead yeah. of going out, you don't have a willow tree, but you got... You got the door trim <laughs> that fell off. <laughs> Boom. My dad called it getting a licking. Yeah. That's what yeah. he'd say. Do you need a licking? You need a licking? Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> so, you know, we, we thought we would talk about this because it does come up a lot. And in these conversations, at least in some of our circles, uh, there are pretty... Uh, visceral responses to the issue of spanking, right? Mm. Um, and it, in my experience, the most the most intense anti spankers uh, don't have children. Uh, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. Just been what I have been around, and I'm, I'm not saying that's a scientific measure. I'm just saying the most anti spanking people that I've encountered who are super vocal about it and 
kind of judgy about it. Don't didn't have kids or their new parents with one kid. Yeah, but I'm just in my experience, the most vocal. Yeah, no kids at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but I, I know that there are many parents out there who are against spanking. I'm just uh, kind of observing thinking back uh so we got you got that on the one hand like there should be no spanking it's abuse to hit your child in any way even on the butt um with your hand uh, is abuse and uh other people on the other end which would be uh, at, to the far extreme would be like you're supposed to spank if you don't spank you're not being biblical and you should use a stick and then there's gradations right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, and then there's everything in between okay yeah. so uh why do why do we generally say as uh, as Christians, it seems to be at least a general consensus in my experience. Maybe it's not uh, that spanking is okay biblically. Why 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 do, why is that a common sort of uh, statement? Do you think? Uh, sorry, you asking me? I'm asking both of you. I'm asking. I'm asking a question. It's, a, it's, oh, it's supposed to be a dialogue, you know. Oh, you just Thank didn't you. want to talk. It's the it's, whole time? it's like you know. <laughs> yeah, I was just waiting for you to just talk the whole time. Yeah, well, well, yeah. I mean, you we're think tired. Of, we've had yeah, long days. Yes, yeah, we we got jobs, Joe. Yeah. Stop. So uh, I was on the road. At, I was on the road at six fifteen. So was I. Yeah? yeah. I was not. I was in bed. I was. <laughs> I was. Well, I think you know probably because uh, I mean you look at the most common verse that people point to in Proverbs twenty three: "Do not withhold discipline from a child." That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so yeah, I think people look at that as as a but that just says discipline. That's fine. What's wrong well, with that? well, if says, you keep reading, if you strike him with a rod, he uh, will not die. Okay. <laughs> if you strike him with a rod, you will save his soul from Sheol. Ooh, that's a strong statement. Okay. Yeah. So, so, like, the notion behind it is it, that it's it's a loving act of correction uh, for the discipline of your child. Yeah, I mean, and we 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 see this like uh, Proverbs thirteen twenty four: Whoever spares yeah. the rod hates his son, mm. but whoever loves him, to your point, Jimmy, uh, is diligent to discipline him. So we, the, clearly the Bible does speak of discipline that takes the form of, of, of a strike or a, a swat of a child in some way, right? Yeah, yeah. It speaks of it. So here's a question, though, like, and I have no clue what mm-hmm. the answer is. I don't know if you guys know in your studies. Is this a cultural thing? That it was a common thing then. I mean, we can agree that the Bible for sure is talking about discipline. You cannot neglect disciplining your kids. We know that practically because they will turn into potentially Ian. Ian. Your son. <laughs> Ian's Ian. a really good kid. He's a really good kid. Really That's good young man. He's yeah. in college now. Yeah. yeah. Pierre. <laughs> we call him Pierre now. I do he... call him Pierre. He looks like a French foreign exchange student. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so clearly the Bible talks about discipline, but the the actual striking of a rod, you know, like in today's society, holy cow, that would well, not... We know for a fact that it was cultural because it happened in that particular place right. and time, so it was cultural. Are, are you asking if it's only cultural? If you're, Are you asking, like, is is this something that we should only see as what they did then it's not advocating for it it's got a deep principle are you saying we sh- are you asking should we only look at it in that way or? well or can we look at it in that way not only look at it in that way but right, can right. we look at it in that way so clearly the bible is talking about discipline yeah they give the example of we discipline by using a rod you mm-hmm. know but is that the only way like you kind of opening with yeah, our yeah. opening you said is it the only way to discipline is this just an example of how they discipline mm. is it one of many ways they might have disciplined you know there's a lot of questions and I think about that, that. I think that's important, right? Yeah. And ask a lot of questions about the texts about, yeah. the, about the passage because uh, you don't want a superficial take on it. You you want to understand the. It's, it's the not a one size fits all kind of a thing, right? Like because I mean, even with my kids, as they're growing, how I discipline them is changing. Sure. Right. Absolutely. How I you know how I discipline them as a two year old is different than how I'm taking you know discipline them as a ten year old. Mm-hmm. Even kid to kid, temperament to temperament. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, each one can can receive discipline in different ways. It, when I, when we were uh, raising, we have four kids. If you're new here, uh, I have four kids with my wife Jen and um, Catherine. And we're not, we're, we're pro spanking. We were at least you know, and as we were raising these kids, uh, but only in s- certain situations. Right? They were they would only get a swat on the buttocks. Um, and, uh, it would never leave a mark or anything like that, but it would get their attention. Uh, we would only give a swat on the buttocks if they directly disobeyed us. Like if they were to say no, if like, you know, not like, do you want some more? And they say, no, we start spanking them. Nothing like that. I mean, like we say, Hey, I need you to pick up a toy. So they were to say, no, 
they would they, then we, they would get a swat. Um, but uh, with Catherine, we never had to do it. I could just say Catherine, and she would burst into tears and be broken. She's so sweet, Elias. <laughs> That uh, that boy didn't nothing mm-hmm. would made it through to him, and then uh, you know, uh, <laughs> have we gotten to Maddie yet? Yeah, Maddie uh, <laughs> spanked us. So I mean, <laughs> you know, Maddie was like, uh, now it's my turn. Maddie's sucker. running the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even, even like Eli was probably the most stubborn, mm. and, and, and we only had to do it a, a few times. Every kid is different, mm-hmm, and uh, mm-hmm. so I'm not certainly prescribing how people should do it. But just to make to your point that yeah, they're. We're, we're very different and, and kids are different and people are different and situations are different. Even when you're talking about discipline, right? Like, um, cause it's, it, it, it's, it's a matter of correction. And so how you correct and why you correct and what you're correcting varies. So like with retributive justice, um, you know, some crimes merited certain forms of punishment mm-hmm, or retribution mm-hmm. in the old Testament, whereas other crimes carried a different mm-hmm. uh, yeah. set of yep. consequences. It wasn't a, like you said, Jimmy, one size fits all. You know, you bring up a good point. Um, Using some form of physical discipline, you you know, there's a time, maybe you don't even want to do that. Like maybe you've decided for reasons we'll, maybe we'll get to in this that you don't want to do that. But there's moments where you might have to physically grab your kid. Like for example, you know, when they're a toddler and they're about to run through a parking lot and a car is coming, mm-hmm, right. mm-hmm. you're going to grab their arm very hard, harder than you would want to. Yeah. The, and it might actually hurt. But you're saving their life, yeah. you know? And so that's an example of, I guess, sort of a form of discipline. They haven't learned yet that you can't, you know, just dart out into a parking lot. They're going to probably cry, you know? So there's times where discipline may involve some physical pain, but literally it, it's needed to save their life. They could really, really get hurt mm. or worse, mm-hmm. you know? Um, but then other times... Yeah, it doesn't need to be that, you no. know, or, you know, you talked about the difference in kids. Some kids are like the opposite of Catherine. You do some kind of form of physical discipline on them and they'll just look at you and laugh. Like it doesn't phase them, right? Yeah, that, that was Eli. So you have yeah, to. That, that was Elias for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> both uh, both the, of our Elis. <laughs> I, I, so I, spanked to... El, I spanked Elias. I actually was going to spank all, all three of them. All three of them were going to get disciplined, right? And uh, uh, Elias was up first, spanked him. Send him to bed. And I hear him go around the corner. He's like, wasn't that bad? Like that. <laughs> he's like trying to like tell the siblings, you know, yeah. eh, not that bad. I'm like, oh, round two, son. <laughs> round two. <laughs> but that just goes to show, okay, so that's not his pain point Mm-mm. in Mm-mm. a sense. And when I say pain point, I don't only mean physical. Right, right. Yeah. Like some kids having their screen time taken away yeah. is going to hurt way worse right. than mm-hmm. any kind of physical discipline yep. that you could give them. So you have to know your child, what they care the most about mm. and what's going to be most effective. And so that's where I think, I, you know, you asked at the beginning, like, is this the only way? Like, if you're not using a rod or some kind of physical form of discipline, are you doing it wrong? Are you going against scripture? And I would argue no. Yeah, you know, I, that's I, an example. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I would argue no, because kids are different. Yes. And... Parents are different. Some of us shouldn't be doing that. Absolutely. You know, given the way we grew up, like if you grew up in an abusive home and you're concerned, like, I don't want to perpetuate that, you probably shouldn't do it that way. Yeah. There's other really, really good methods. With with any form of discipline, um, you you don't want to do so when you're angry. Right. Correct. Um, And like we've, you know, again, we didn't have to, you know, resort to to spanking buns uh, very often. Um, except with Elias, but uh, but we would never do it when I was angry. And there were times when I was angry. Elias bit Catherine on the back one time when he was real little, just bit, right into her back. And uh, I just said, "Go up to your room and wait for me." <laughs> Which I was is its so own angry. form mm-hmm. of because now they get to think about yeah, it. He was just up there, <laughs> oh. and uh, you know what I did? I went up there, and uh, it, you know he he had gotten you know swats by that point. Um. I went up there and I I didn't spank him. Uh, I just talked to him about what the consequences are for that kind of an action. And he was rattled. He had no, he knew that he had did something really bad by how it all unfolded. Mm. But, so let, let's just do this on the front end because I know some people. I'm making noise. Some people are going to have like they're going to want want clarity. So yeah. does does anybody here think that uh, all forms of corporal punishment, spanking, all forms of it are inappropriate? Does anybody here think that? Like under any circumstance. Yeah. I don't think so necessarily. 
are inappropriate. Yeah. Are 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 it, well. It, like are, there's times where it would be appropriate. No. Or okay. okay. My question was: Are all forms of corporal punishment inappropriate? No, I don't think so. No. Sorry, I'm trying Depends. to answer your question. Are all forms of corp- so are all forms of spanking wrong? No. Yeah. I, I, okay. No. I agree. I don't so think there, so. It depends. There, it can be done. I mean, it can be done well. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. I think so. But we're. I think but we're also all saying the Bible isn't commanding you to literally spank. The Bible is commanding you to literally discipline. Yes. yes. And that takes various forms. And yes. the most common form uh, among among the Jews at this time was uh, the rod. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I would imagine that's not for every. You know, oh, it's because they, they, they took an extra cookie out and they're going to get the rod. It's, you know, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? No, no, I agree with be. you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Jimmy's like, oh, it depends on the cookie. Depends, it was was a, it a macaroon? Was, oh, if it's a macaroon, Jimmy, you're done. Jimmy's very serious about his macaroons. I'm okay. very serious. I thought I understood what macaroons were. Oh, yeah, we had a they're whole different, conversation. They're different, right? There's the there's macaroons, which are like the coconut cookie, right? And then there's, is it like macrons? Or, it's spelled differently, and they're the ones that are the little, like, almost Colored, look like little sandwiches, colorful. and they're like colorful. Yeah, so those they're, are macaroons, and the macaroons. Macorns or macaroons or whatever are the ones that I like with the coconut. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but we always okay. called them macaroons. I had that's, to look it up because Jimmy's trying to correct me, and I'm like, were. "Dude, you're wrong." And I'm like, yeah, "Of course, like Joe you. can't let it go. Yeah. He can't let it yeah, go." I I but like I'm willing to be Joe. proven wrong, but I gotta see it. Mm. I'm gonna take your but you word. You gotta prove it. You lie. I'm not gonna lie about you. It. Lie about all you kinds lie. of stuff. You're you gonna lie. get spanked if you lie. Spanked. All right, so we're talking about discipline. You, you, you don't. Whatever you do, you don't want to do it when you're angry. No, don't want to do it with the angry. No. And you and you, you and want, it want and it needs to be measured. Yeah. So like even for, you know, it's got to be measured. So that could, I'm meaning that in two ways. One, the punishment's got to fit the crime. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And so you know it can't you can't go way overboard for something that's trivial. Right? Correct. Uh, but I also mean measured in the sense that, you know, when Michelle and I were trying to figure out what's the best ways, you know, uh, we did really want to do, hand. And I think, I don't know why, but in my mind, um, I never wanted my kid to be afraid of like my hand, Mm -hmm. like just, I don't know, subliminally, just something with that, maybe just more because my upbringing. Mm -hmm. Um, So I felt like I need to have something that was, uh, you know, a weapon, a a weapon of some type, right? (laughs) Don't call it a weapon. (laughs) You needed a weapon. And so like, you know, a little paddle or something like that. Oh yeah. Like I tried a belt on me first and I'm like, I can't control this. It's like. I got to go up like this. Ooh. I'm like, forget that. And so, yeah, I mean, I was hitting my, my leg, my thigh, and I was like, this is not working. It's too hard. It's not measured enough. It's just, and your I, tree trunk legs are different than a, a, a young little exactly. toddler. Right. And I'm like, I want something that's just going to sting, and I just do this, you know, like a little flick, <laughs> you know? And so I found the right spoon. <laughs> you found spoon, the spanking spoon? Spoons are a popular spoon. choice. It, it was flat. You know, kind of flat, kind of a spatula spoon. You know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? Yeah. Did it have like a pattern of holes in it and whatnot so it would leave like welts? No, we had that mm-hmm. in Marmion though. Okay, I bet you did. We had that in Marmion. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me think of like the fraternity paddles. Right. That's know, what like, we had at Marmion. Did you? Yeah. The wow. Dean of Discipline would have that. Yikes. Had holes drilled through it so it can go faster. Yeah, I never, I never, uh, I, I never liked the, the use of, of instruments. Obviously, I mean, they were using it in scripture. It wasn't corrected. Um, it's, not, it's not an argument for or against. But um, but yeah, I, I think whatever you're doing, you got to do it conscientiously. You've got to do it carefully, thoughtfully. Yep, measured, like, measured, like you said. And it, you know, we'll find out what works on your kid. Oh right. yeah, I mean, because like you said, Krista, sometimes finding the right pressure point yep. uh, is that's a good way to put pressure points better than pain point. <laughs> <laughs> talking about discipline, <laughs> pressure point. My parents would send me to my room every once in a while. I'd be like, great, it's where all my music is. See, for <laughs> some kids, that is a, a yeah. legit punishment. Right. But like for my sister, that was a reward. Right. So yeah, you, you got to know your kid for yeah. sure. Yeah. I try to get in trouble so Michelle sends me to my room. Exactly. Yeah. So don't do that to Jimmy because that's <laughs> no, too much it. fun. <laughs> I love it. Go to my room, lay down. Right. right. Okay. So Text Joe. So what is the, <laughs> why, what is the point of discipline really? I mean, is is the point of discipline to punish? Is is the point of discipline to get their attention? Uh, what? Why do parents discipline their kids? Why are we supposed to discipline our kids in whatever form that takes? I'm trying to remember who. Which one was it? Was it Ted Tripp had a book? Or, mm. uh, was it yeah. Shepherding mm-hmm. a Child's Heart? Is mm-hmm. that the one? Yep. yep. And I think in that one it does talk about discipline. Is that the one that has it? He had a series. Yeah, right? I think so. And uh, I it always stuck with me. How he would talk about discipline in the sense of what's wrong? You okay? I'm hearing noises. 
I think it's a truck outside. Go oh, ahead. I thought somebody um, was knocking. Oh, uh, I, I remember going through it and um, he was talking about discipline as a way of helping your child. Uh, oh, I hear it now. Yeah. I, hear, I heard that one. Maybe you are so bad. Just ignore me when I'm looking around. Well, no, I'm trying just to figure stay out focused. Because your eyes are like, yeah, I know. Like, I'm like, no, I know. Look, look at this. this. Like this. Yeah, oh, I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know, I don't know if you're having a stroke. Okay, if I, if I am, you'll know when I start drooling and my, half my mouth well, You're doing that now. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel any That's different. Easy. I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> and so you talk about like uh, discipline as a form of, like you said, like we've been talking about correction, but helping them see this is not the way God has intended for you to live, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Living according to God's ways is what's best, and you're outside of those bounds right now. Right, and so discipline is a is a way of reminding you and bringing you back to it. I think he even drew like a circle, mm. right, mm -hmm. and said, you know, uh, when a child sins, they're outside of that circle, and so discipline is helping them see and going bringing them. back. It's like a shock collar. It's like a shock. It's collar. like a dog. You know, that's what you're saying. Yeah, like it goes out the yard, gets the zap, and then they're coming to back stay in. back in the yard. Yeah, yeah. Right. and that, that's exactly that's actually but, a probably but, better but all. But all discipline, and again, like people think like. Are, Shock collars. The point is, is any kind of discipline is an affliction, whether it mm -hmm. is, you know, a timeout yep. mm -hmm. or, uh, and by the way, you're not disciplining your kid if you're counting to three. Stop with the no, count of three. No, please oh, don't do that. I can't stand that. Can I just, can I speak to that please, for a yes, second? Yes, please. Please, because Jimmy and I will rant for 10 minutes. Oh, do do not do that. Because what you're doing is you're training your child to yep. not obey you until you hit a certain number yes. mm -hmm. or until your voice hits a certain decibel level yep. or something. Don't do it. You have to do it the first time. It's exhausting. And every time. And every time, yes. It's exhausting. I remember doing it with Ian. I was I would sit, I'd be on the couch and I'd be like, Ian, do this or don't do that or whatever. And he'd do it or what not do it or whatever. And I'd I literally have to say to myself, get off the couch, make him do it. Get off the couch. And I'm like, tired. It's been a long day. And I'm like, yeah. get your butt off the couch and make him do it. Because I did not want to be that mom. I didn't yeah. in the long run that was gonna hurt me worse. Mm -hmm. But it's exhausting. But don't count. You don't heard do it. From, it. You guys hear, hear it from don't Chris. Jimmy and I it. say it. You ignore it. I totally agree. And I, I do. I do see this. And I, I saw this. I saw it in myself. I saw it in Jen at times. Where you just touched on it. Like it's not that people are lazy and don't want to discipline their kids. It's that you're exhausted. You're yeah. tired, and it's man. Like, I'm just. I'm it's not, another just, thing. Yeah, it's another thing, and you're just worn out. I I don't do the counting thing because that's math, and I'm not doing that. So. <laughs> One. Okay, whatever it takes, it just don't count. Two. Yeah, don't don't count. Two and a half. Yeah, so that's, yes, that's, they're getting the fractions. That? Yeah. Fractions. What is that? That's yeah. that is called. I don't want to get up. Yeah. When you start adding the fractions, you really don't want to. Get well, up. I, and I think it's two things. I think it's one. I don't want to get up, or two. I don't want to discipline. Yeah. Right. Could like, be. I I don't want to go through with the act of discipline. Mm -hmm. I don't have like this child just called my bluff. Oh, that's another thing. Don't ever threaten anything oh, you're yes. not willing to follow through on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do not be like, I'm not taking you to Disney World. I'm like, what? Of course you're still going to take your kid to Disney World. Don't throw that out right. there. Don't, like if I'll, you've planned I'll, the trip and you bought the tickets, don't I'm going to turn this that. car around. Yeah. yeah, don't ever threaten no, that stuff. <laughs> yeah, Maybe if you're on the way to Dairy Queen. But not if you're on vacation, you're not. But only, yeah, only smart, do you know. what you're willing to follow yes. through on. Because if you don't follow through on it, they will never, they, they're like, he's a wimp. He's well, not going to. they don't gonna, respect they don't Exactly. Respect yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, oh my gosh, I could go on forever about well, this. It's like, it, this, <laughs> this is what, like this. Like, you know, when, when you're disciplining, like you said, Jimmy, it, it is to get their attention, to make sure they know that what they've done is serious. Like this is, mm -hmm. you know, it's not like a, hey, you know, be a little more careful with the way you say that. Like they've actually sinned in some way. Yes. That requires yes. some attention. So you want to get their attention. Um, they all, they're learning consequences. And the idea is to bring them back to the safe place, right? We're like, oh, this is where I flourish. Like I'm going to be happy if I, if I walk in these ways. Yeah, this is where God has intended me to be. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. And so like all of that only, um, all of that really should work when it's coming from a parent who clearly loves is invested in and receives that child, which is why you, you can't be like flame and angry when you're disciplining them, right. yelling at yes. your kids, calling them names, yep. uh, you know, like throwing them up in the room and slamming the door on them. It's like, okay, you didn't spank them, but mm, okay. But you're still damaging the relationship. Yeah. It's it, cause yeah. you want your kids, however you discipline them. I think it's really important that, that you, 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 you there's a, there's a beginning middle and, and resolution to the whole. And act. I think that's the important thing mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. that is missing a lot is the resolution yeah. part. Yes. Where you get together, you hold yes. your child, you talk to them about it, and mm-hmm. you know, make sure that, you, that we're reconciled, everything's fine. Mm-hmm. This is just, you know. And I did this because I love you. Yeah. And I, get, oh man, if I had a dollar for every time my parents said to me, we did this because we love you and we care about you. If we didn't care about you, we'd let you do whatever you wanted. So you'd have $3? No, I'd have oh, so many yeah, dollars. Yeah, Krista was like... I was a stinker. She was a pill. Yep. Krista was a pill. Oh, no. I just assumed your parents didn't tell you they loved you a lot. Oh. No, they did. Oh. They were really good about it. I just got disciplined a lot. Up to a certain point, and then I didn't. Yeah. Then I, mean, I was super compliant. And I knew a pastor that would spank his kids regardless of their age. What? And I knew a guy, yep, I knew a guy who uh, spanked his 16, 17-year-old daughter. <gasps> I don't recommend Why? that. Why? Because uh, she was doing what she wanted to do, wouldn't listen to him. Did it work? Of course not. Don't recommend it. She continued to be the the wild one. Uh, I mean, I just find that incredibly abusive and crazy. Yeah. You know, and I know you might call me inconsistent because like, well, why is it not with a a four-year-old or whatever? But uh, yeah, wildly inappropriate. And uh, I think that's the word, inappropriate. Yeah. Yeah. To restrain her to do it. Like it just. Uh, Yeah. Well, here's the thing. If it's not. If you're if it's not getting desired results, why would you keep doing it? Yeah, you know well, what if, that doesn't well, what make what any if, sense. But what if no form of discipline? Like I know I know a, a, a woman, a good woman, and uh, she, you know, she was married at the time, uh, had a couple kids. One of those kids was always angry. Dad was never home. Uh, there were a lot of anger issues. It didn't. He just she had to keep disciplining him in whatever ways right. that she did. She didn't see fruit from that mm-hmm. or changing him for years. Mm-hmm. Eventually, he did. What what do you do when you don't see results when you're engaging in certain kinds of discipline, but you know, I have to discipline. Right. I can't well, just you let keep it go. doing it. But then you also, maybe you do seek outside help. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, who knows what might be going on. So if there's a situation where you said dad was never home, maybe he's mad that dad's never home. Oh, yeah. You I, know I, what I mean? I think like that was a big part of it. Yeah. So like there's issues going on. So that's where, yeah, maybe counseling would be helpful so this kid can deal with his emotions because- A lot of times kids, that's another thing to remember too, is sometimes we expect our kids to behave, frankly, better than we do as adults. We expect them to learn immediately. That's true too. You know, like we we don't account for the fact that they could have had a bad day. Mm. They could not be on the top of their game because they're hungry or tired right now. You know what I mean? You've got to take that stuff into account. And you made a, a good point, Joe, when you said you guys spanked in particular when they looked you right in the eye and you knew they were openly being defiant. Mm-hmm. That is very different than they've had a long day, they haven't they didn't get a nap, they need to eat. Like I remember one time Ian was like three. He didn't want to eat, he was tired, and I was contemplating like how I was gonna handle this and, and I have a a parenting book that I can recommend that I want to talk about because I Baby really wise. love it. No. Um, <laughs> it wasn't that. Like, no. <laughs> no. I, I knew a lot of people who I mean, use that, but well, no, it's not yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not going to go with your book recommendations. Your show telling my wife to have our kids watch Caillou just did not go well for us. I'm sorry. Wait. I didn't tell him to watch Caillou. Yeah, you, she, I think she I did. I said, don't did. watch no, I'm Caillou. Sure. No, you, you were really no, you big were like on Caillou. Caillou. You are totally... Canadian cartoons for children. I, You're like, Caillou. Canadian Caillou is yeah. the best. You were like, how can I indoctrinate mm. my children to be socialist crybabies? No. Oh, let's, let's, let's watch, watch Caillou. Caillou. I hated Caillou, you guys. <laughs> Caillou is the worst. <laughs> no, I told you. Caillou. <laughs> See, I didn't even watch it enough to sing along with y'all on that. Okay, I'm just saying. No, Caillou. I would rather my kid get spanked inappropriately with Jimmy's belt than uh, or, the, or the door trim. Door uh, trim. Yeah. I would rather get spanked than watch uh, Caillou. Oh my gosh. Caillou was the I worst. I couldn't. No, I want, a couple times that I let Ian watch it, I said to him, if you start talking like Caillou, no, Caillou. You know, listen, the, the best uh, argument for uh, white privilege is Caillou. Oh, my gosh. What consequences did that kid ever face? And I would point, I would watch it with him. The two times he watched it, I'm serious, it might have been two mm-hmm. times. And I'd be like, Caillou wasn't very nice to his sister right now. Every time, like, something would happen, I'd maybe, point it out. <laughs> I was, like, psycho. It could okay. be. Maybe he gets away with it because it, I think it's a subplot. Maybe it's like a, what do you call it, like a, a theory? Okay. A theory, a fan theory. Fan theory. Maybe Caillou has cancer because he doesn't have any hair. He looks sickly. All those. No, like, I actually agree with him. I yeah, think Caillou like, has cancer. This, maybe that's why they like because he only has a few years to live. And, and notice, whatever. notice, Caillou, mm-hmm. Joe, same. I same. have cancer, and he's got cancer mm-hmm. too. 
And you know why he never was in the hospital? Because he's up in that socialist country, Canada, where you got to wait forever before you get into the hospital. That's why he they never got, got healthy. Death panels. Don't be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys, I was making a really good point. Oh, you were. Yeah, sorry. And I have no clue what the heck I was uh, talking about. And you have don't, a book recommendation. Don't diss on Canada, man. <laughs> there, there's some things up there right now that are kind of cool that are happening, but we won't talk about it. Okay. Anyway. What was I talking about? So book, book the book. Oh, Ian, the one time that. Um, Oh, you guys, I totally lost my train of thought. Anyway, the, the book recommendation, wh- one thing that you said, and I'll go into the book. I mm-hmm. have no clue what I was talking about mm-hmm. before. But you said something, the word was consequences. And that is really important with discipline. Because if we're like the pastor that spanked his daughter when she was older, if we're just authoritarian yeah. about our discipline, we are not really teaching our kids anything. And I, you had asked earlier, is discipline a punishment? What is it? What is it? I don't like to think of it as a punishment. I think some people use it as punishment, but it should be instructional. Yeah, We're wanting to change behavior. Mm-hmm. We're wanting to mm-hmm. shape behavior, yeah. right? So whether... Um, it's spiritually related, whether it's just like, hey, you don't slap your sister, you know, or whatever it is. And so we want kids to start to make the connection that the choices I make or the things that I do have consequences. Sometimes they're good and I like them. Other times they're negative and I don't like them. And so that relationship mm-hmm. between the be- behavior and consequences is key. Mm-hmm. And one, the, the book that I was talking about and the kind of the program that I like, it's called Parenting with Love and Logic. Mm-hmm. It's outstanding. Um, who's, we, who's the author? Um, Klein and Fay, Jim uh, or Foster Klein and Jim K, Jim Fay were the original two authors. Um, Klein is a psychologist. Fay was like a school administrator, and they came up with this. Then Charles Fay, who is now a psychologist, that's Jim Fay's son, also joined them. Um, they've got a ton of materials. You can check it out at loveandlogic.com. I always recommend the families that I counsel, go to your library. A lot of the libraries have the books. Check it out. See if you like it first before you buy anything. Mm, not I our do. library, but yeah. Why? Oh, well, right now you can't. You could order it. You just can't go in person. But Nobody anyway, knows what you guys are talking about. That's another story. Um, anyway, so check it out. But they are really, they do a great job of highlighting how to help your kids experience the consequences of their choices, yeah. hmm. giving them lots of choices so they can actually make some mistakes and learn. You kind of secretly want them to make mistakes right. and learn. But they also talk about how you can deliver consequences with the <laughs> empathy <laughs> that we've talked about in the past mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and not get angry yourself, yeah. which is frankly the hardest part mm-hmm. because kids push our buttons. Yeah. You know, but but to try to do it in a way where you're empathizing with your kids, like, for example, and this works with little kids all the way through teens, and it's just great stuff. But for example, like if if your child comes home and they did didn't do well on a test and let's say the night before you were like, they aren't studying, they're not going right. to do well. Instead of doing the I told you, why didn't you study? Yeah. I told you last night, you right. should have studied. That sounds right. That sounds right, but you know yeah. what they're hearing? Charlie right. Brown's teacher. Wah, 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 wah. Mm. None of it's resonating with them. So instead, if you- Say s- it louder. No. Oh. So if, if they come home and they're like, I failed the test, ideally your response would be, oh man, I'm sorry. That's such a bummer. Mm. What are you going to do? And then you shut up. Yeah. Because we say too much stuff. Yeah. That's really That's good. the other thing. That's we really lecture good. way yeah. too much. And and they go and they're gonna say what every kid says. I don't know, yeah, because <laughs> that's what they all say. And then you say, "Would you like some suggestions? Would you like to hear what other kids have done who are in your shoes?" Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, like, okay, you know, if they say no, respect the no. Just say, "Okay, let me know if you want to know sometime." Yeah, and we can talk about it. And then spank them if they get good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, but then you can That's say, this, like... Really, she needs her own podcast, right? Like, so all the <laughs> well, stuff she needs to say. Oh, so she can, well, so you she can, can get all this at loveandlogic.com. Love I'd be stealing from them. I'm just telling you stuff I've yeah, learned from know, them. Still, like, you, put it, you put it out there in a way their that, Their stuff you know. is gold. But, mm-hmm. but then you I can... I mean, use the word bummer. I mean, I've, I've heard that in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> She's so old. I am so old. I did not say that. That's what you meant. But that I am. That is what you meant. I'm not a boomer, though. Okay? Don't be calling me boomer. Okay. I'm not a boomer. But She's not. She's Gen X. I'm totally Gen X, um, the forgotten generation. So I, I had, <laughs> anyway, and I know I know we got to we got we got to wrap up, but I, um, I, I two things I, I I wanted to just touch on real quick. 
you said, and I want to know if you would agree with this, okay. that we sh- you said you don't think that you were very cautious in how you worded this, but I think you basically said that maybe we shouldn't think of discipline as punishment, but as, and what was the word you used? Correction, Correction. or instruction. Instruction, instruction. that yeah. was what you used. Okay, yeah. so, um, and I like that, but I would, I, I, would you agree with this, that it is punishment, it's just not the point of, like, discipline is a form of punishment because it, can it is be. an infliction of discomfort of some sort. Uh, it's a it's a it's a consequence that is unpleasant. But it's, but, it, but always... it's not it's not punishment for punishment punishment. Yes, that's not. But it's still punishment. Uh, correct. I know. No, I'm trying to help. Like, but it's punishment with the point of instruction. That's where I'm going. That, yeah. that, that was, right. So yeah, like, it when took I... you a while to get your. Uh, we helped you. No, you did. I, you made yes. a mess. Yes. you made a mess. I was we trying to say. So good. It, <laughs> great job. Kristen. It's not the Thanks. punishment. Is not the point yeah. of correction. It is inherently a kind of punishment. Mm-hmm. But its goal is. It is it, it is a it has a remedial goal that well, is to heal and I think to, it's important to make that distinction though, even biblically. So when we think of punishment or when we think of discipline the way the New Testament talks about discipline, you know, that God disciplines us, mm-hmm. we know it can't be punishment because Jesus took all the punishment, right? Yeah. So yeah. it can't be punishment. It's for sanctification, it's for instruction. So that's the way I like but to think about discipline. You, we would say it's not punishment in that sense, but it it is an affliction. Oh, right. And And even the discipline that God gives us, we can be afflicted in that, but mm -hmm. it's not because we're being punished. Right, right. So, I mean, it's like uh, punishment is defined as the infliction of a penalty uh, for an offense. Right. right. It's a yeah, penalty. Well, Webster doesn't it, know it's a con- No, but the point is, is like, it's a kind of punishment is what I'm going to argue. It's not, but I, I just would say, and I could be wrong, but, um, but it is. I feel like we're saying the same thing though. So are we not? And I, sort of. The, the main, the main, because it, if it is, uh, yeah, we have to define penalty, right? But uh, a penalty is 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 a negative consequence for breaking a rule, right? Let's say that. Um, so it it is a as a, as a negative consequence that it carries with it a, an a, a, an affliction or infliction of, uh, of of displeasure or right. whatever you'd say. It, it, this and this is where I'm going, right? Uh, this is the second thing, and I can we can end it on this, uh, and then anything else you guys want to throw in um, in Hebrews twelve. Uh, starting in verse five, have you forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons? My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and he chastises every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? If you are left without discipline in which all have participated, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. Besides this, we have had earthly fathers who disciplined us, and we respected them. Shall we not much more be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time, as it seemed best to them, but he disciplines us for our good, that we may share his holiness. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness by those who have been trained by it. And what I like about this is, number one, this sort of encapsulates everything that we've been saying, right? right. That discipline, whatever it is, right, it is a it is a painful consequence for rebellion. Right, but I... Th- With I th- the point... Yeah, I know. I just I, yeah. Nobody can just say yes. Is it that? It's a yes well, or no yes. question. Okay, so it's that. But as opposed okay. to... Pun- like you were talking about punishment before, I think part of the issue is punishment has a negative connotation, whereas discipline... You know, even though it can be unpleasant, it's still a good thing. Right, it's right. a positive that's why thing. I like, that's why I said, like, let's, and I think of that's the, where the punishment thing is like. That's why I left the punishment yeah. out. Yeah. So, like, to say it this way, and I forgot what I said, but it was the, <laughs> uh, it was, I forgot what I said. I, 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 I'm too scatterbrained. It is a consequence. Oh, it was a consequence. So, the question was discipline is a, um, an unpleasant, painful consequence for rebellion. Yes. That's what it says. Yeah. Jimmy agrees? Oh, I'm I'll looking. give you a yes. I'm just, well, if you don't, you can say no. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, no, sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm a little thrown off because it, it's weird to me. I'm just, yeah. I'm just trying to find out, like, so, like, where can we agree? Because, like, we're not, so we're still trying to figure some of it but out. I, Do we want to say punishment or not punishment? So, like, I thought, but I, thought, I, thought I, 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 this whole time I've been thinking we are agreeing. Yeah, I think, I think we've just been agreeing the whole time. Word. Yeah, we yeah. have been. We're quibbling about it. We quibble about so a word. So that's why I'm just, I, I don't know where the distinction is, I guess. So I'm maybe, just, I'm a bit lost. Maybe part of it is some people use punishment and discipline interchangeably, those two words. Well, I, I think you know, they do. That's and there's a casual it, use of punishment. That's why yeah. I'm like, so, okay, so, you know, me saying, well, maybe it is punishment, but 
it's not the point. And you're saying like, well, I don't know. Punishment seems to have a have a more negative implication, but negative more than just consequences. So like that's, I thought like, well, instead of confusing ourselves, or at least me getting confused about the word punishment, we can go back and say like, let's get clarity. Mm-hmm. We all agree on this. And this is why I was trying to say like, if we look at this, yeah. we would, I think we would all agree because we have been agreeing in principle that, uh, that discipline is um, painful consequence for rebellion. I think, we, I think we all agree on that. Yeah. Okay. I think so <laughs> Jimmy's reluctant to say yes. Yeah. 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 yeah I think so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, um, I, so I, I, we see that, but even then, it that's not the end, right? It is a negative, painful consequence for rebellion. But the point is, is not to um, merely uh, punish or uh, uh, afflict. The point is, is to bring about a remedy, a change of heart. Uh, going to Paul Tripp's book right. or Ted Tripp or whatever trip it is. Um, to bring about a change in heart. They both have a mustache. I know. Uh, but one of them has a real sense of style. I don't, I don't know. That's really Paul. Is. And the other that one Paul? has... That's Paul Tripp. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not getting into it. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's making jokes. <laughs> no, I didn't make a joke. It's a but, but observational. The reason, I think, one of the reasons this is important for us is because if we, if we don't have a healthy view of discipline, we're mm-hmm. not going to be able to offer it to our kids. Yes. And we're not going to be able to receive it from the Lord. I Correct. think that's where we're going to get like into uh, a resistant spirit, you know, when it comes to what we're supposed to be going through. And we're going to confuse the little ones. And I think if we can look at God's view of discipline and why he's doing it, it's for our good yes. and his glory. Mm-hmm. We can use that to inform when we discipline our kids. Not that it's for our glory. Right, it's right, for, right. His glory, for his glory. Yeah. But, and for their good. So that should be our motivation. Not to get out our anger. Right. Or I'll teach you a lesson. But yeah. no, I want you to grow in, in the faith and in grace, you know, and that involves discipline. Yeah. Comes from love. I like it. Absolutely. We'd love to hear your thoughts. You can follow us online on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, or at Doc, what is it? At Doc and Devo. At Doc and Devo or on Facebook slash Dr. Devotion. You can head to the website, DrDevotion.com. They can contact us. You can sign up for the email blast through the store, JoeFoStore.com and grab some gear. We got that fresh pot every Monday and Thursday. We got blog posts and video content over at the website. And we've also got that all access exclusive content banter truth on Tuesdays, weekday wisdom, Monday through Friday. Head on over to drfortune.com slash all access mm-hmm. to sign up today. Later. Mm-hmm.